So I've got this C-sharp method in PLC, which is basically an abstraction for calling the C-sharp methods from the PLC. Uh, first of all, I have this email, which says, okay, if this boolean is true, start invoking the C-sharp method here in email, the counterpart, so it will send, it will, this is the send email. When you press invoke, just call this stuff, so, this is my email, I press this to true, boom, and I should get an email any now, any time. Yep, so, here is the email to me from hello PLC subject, this is email from PLC, cool. Same thing, go for the text message, so, this is the same code, just send text message dot invoke and it will send a text message when I press this true. So true and this code which basically access the video and sends a request and I should get a text message. Yeah, can you see it? So it's my Twilio free trial account and this is a text message from PLC. So very simple. It costs a few pennies to send a message. Uh, what's next? We've got this data manager, which basically is storing the data. So I've got some data prepared. I will delete it. Uh, here I have the settings structure, so let's put some values in it. Hello and hi. So write data. You see this structure is nested, so whatever is in it, I'll just say uh, invoke this method. It's true, it's false, the data should be in a database. So hello, by true, true, nested, works like, like magic, it's cool, what else? Data, email, SMS, REST, so REST APIs, again, same story invoking a C-sharp method. So what I'm doing here is I have a sentence. I think you're great and I think he's much worse than you are. And if I press the start sending, I should get a sentiment analysis. So this first sentence is nice, the second one is not so nice. So let's get it. And you can see I got a result from an API. Over here I defined, this looks scary. This is the generated code from the, I just copied the JSON and this was generated for me. Here is an API which basically says go to this address and this is the parameter and get analysis back. When the analysis is received, I just write it to the PLC, which is to analyze is a string inside the PLC and the result is called in analysis result. So that's this variable is positive, negative when I change it or weather is nice and that, that's it. This should be neutral. I have to request it. Something is working. Not really sure, probably some API error. Never mind. Uh, go on, and we've got a sorter. So we've got an unsorted array. And what I am want is to be sorted this array in the reverse order. So I'll just and the variable to sort it and it's sorted immediately. This is just to go to display it in this simple variable. And the sorting is done over here. So I just get data, sort it and put it back. Point and simple. And what we got next is data. This is that you can generate the user interface. So everything I showed you has been rendered with uh, with this line of code. So 
just render the main application inside the PLC, which is here. So app consists of an email, sorting, SMS, etc. This is the application. It's responsive, so when I make it smaller, I can send the email again. So I'll press the button. You can see the sorted array. You can initialize it. It's reversed, and the email I got again is here, and it's uh, data. It's the setting structure has been generated for me, so we don't have to worry about stuff anymore. So that's it. Read the article. Thank you for your time.